Hi Holly, thanks for choosing a song to learn. It's a great song too. Um, people, everybody knows it and uh, it's not hard to play. I sent you an email uh, with a link to the ultimate guitar.com chords and they're, they're super accurate. Um, so I would print those off if you can so you can look at them while watching this video or you'll be working on two devices or something like that and make sure that you uh, you go through the chords and you, you know them all. I'm gonna break the song up into three parts. Um, the verse. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. And then the uh, chorus, probably the most famous part of the song, Country Road, take me home to the place. And then there's a bridge. I hear her voice in the morning as she calls me. Radio reminds me of my home far away. The bridge. I'm going to make a video for each piece. And there's nothing wrong with learning it in little pieces, okay? Um, also, if you are able to, listen to the song lots. Um, I find, you know, if I'm driving or doing chores around the house, having music in the background, um, a song in the background that I'm learning, uh, that helps me kind of get the song into my head. Um, and it doesn't matter if you think you're a good singer or a lousy singer. If you can sing the song, um, even just, you know, when you're by yourself or with the dog or whatever. Um, if you can sing the song, I think you'll find that learning the song comes easier. My experience, at least. And I, I mean, I, I'm not a singer, but, but I will sing, you know. So this video is about the chorus that uh, really famous sing-along part of the song where we hear, hear the words country roads. The chords are G, or you might be doing G this way, to D, E minor, C, then another G, to D, C, and back to G. Starts on a G one, two, three. Country road to D. Take me home, E minor, to the place C. I belong to G. West Virginia, D. Mountain Mama, C. Take me home, back to G, country roads. You can substitute a C9 for a C if you want. The nice thing about C9 is it's a lot like a G. Versus. If you don't know C, but you know C9, you know, use C9. Although there will there'll, there'll be a time I think if you keep playing guitar, you're gonna to wanna to learn C, but if now's not the time to learn C, no worries about that. I'll do it with a C9. So we'll start with that G. One, two, three. Country roads to D. Take me home, E minor, to the place C9. I belong back to G. West Virginia, D, Mountain Mama, C9, take me home, country roads. So when you can do that, and you can hit each chord once, and you can get to the next chord on time, you start to, it's time to look at uh, some kind of a strumming pattern, and what your right hand is doing. I use a pick. So it's got kind of a, there's many different ways to do it. And if you can, if you know how to read it on the ultimate guitar, um, 
tablature. There's a, a little diagram that shows the ups and downs, um, the strumming pattern. I guess I would do it like this to start with. So what I'm doing there is, it doesn't matter which chord I'm on, I'm gonna be using the same strumming pattern. The only thing is, sometimes I'm using all six strings, and sometimes you're only using like four or five. I'll demonstrate. So what I'm doing there is, with the G, I'm hitting the lowest string in the chord, and then strumming the rest of the strings. So here's how that could go, just with the G, one, transition to D, the lowest string that you're using is either the fifth or the fourth. I'm going to use the fourth here. You don't, you don't want to hit the sixth string. That's confusing. Much harder than the E, or the G. Because now you got to really think about what the pick's doing. Minor's easy. And C or C9, the fifth, the fifth string is the, the lowest note in that chord. To D, E minor, C9. Actually, throw in a little upstroke there at some point. Are you catching that? I don't. Uh, I don't have a really good lesson, and I've never been good at teaching strumming patterns, just because they're so natural for me. I haven't really sat down and thought about what I'm doing. But what I'm doing there is. Right before I change the chords, I guess I'm throwing an upstroke in. So like from the G, one, It's confusing and I don't think I'm doing a particularly good job of showing you this but so I'll just use the G chord to start with so there's that down up do that again one two three here comes down.
So I would suggest getting really comfortable with that part of the song first because it's the easiest and most recognizable part of the song. It's the sing-along part, so you at least, even if you're not singing it out loud, you can have it going through your head and you'll feel great because, wow, this is like, this is the most important part of the song and I've learned it. And then we can go ahead and, uh, and learn the other parts, the verse. Um, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River, life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. We can learn that, and then the, the bridge too, which is probably the toughest part of the song. And I, to be perfectly honest, have to brush up on it myself. So, there's your first lesson. I hope it helps. Message me through Teams or send me an email and, um, and give me some feedback, please, because I love doing this. I love sitting down with the camera and playing and explaining stuff, but I don't know if I'm good at it or not unless people, you know, give me, give me some, 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 uh, some responses and some feedback. So, let me know. Let me know how it's going, please, okay? Thank you. See ya.